Hello, welcome back to your new lesson. In this lesson, I am going to show you how you can filter high frequency noises from your signal using low pass filter. That means in this video, we will design a low pass filter which will remove high frequency noise from your signal. And let's create first a signal and we can create a sample signal with the fs is equal to 100 and then the t is equal to 1 divided by fs and then we need to create a time vector the time vector will be a step size of the t to 1 minus t which will be the 100 okay 1 cross 100 size of the t and after this we can create our signal so let's create first signal sinusoidal signal so it's a 2 multiplied by pi f we are going to take here 10 cycles and then t right after this we are going to generate a noise so let's generate a noise noise is equal to 0 0.5 sorry it's 0 0.5 then multiplied by rand n so that is rand randomized you know normalized random numbers it will be created size of t at the enter now the signal we are going to get a signal by adding signal and plus noise together let's plot this signal x now you will see here this signal sorry we have a previous plots also here now you see here this is a signal and signal is very much distorted but in this lecture at the end of this video I'll show you how you can design a filter which will completely remove this noise so let's create that filter first and uh, we are going to use here filter design techniques to create that filter so we are going to create that filter using filter design d is equal to uh, we can use here design field this is DSP toolbox function and first is a response type so this is low pass if higher filter and then we want filter order so here filter order is just 5 and after that we want cutoff frequency okay in the low pass filter we want cutoff frequency so the first cutoff frequency is going to be let's say we are having signal of frequency 10 then we can keep here cutoff frequency 11 and then finally we need sample rate so sample rate sample rate is fs now the filter uh, design field will return filter parameters into d so if you see this d structure you will get the filter coefficients with other parameters right after this we are going to apply here our filter so we can simply call a filter with the d as an input and then x as an input parameter now let's plot this y now you will see here the signal has been filtered out and if you notice that this plot let's plot this x and y together plot x and then hold on and then plot y you will see here into a plot x which was input signal it has a lot of noise but the y has been filtered you know has filtered this signal but still there is noise so for that what we can do we can increase our filter order to remove that noise so let's increase the filter order so from here we can increase this filter order to remove that noise in a greater way and also we can decrease this frequency content to 10 okay we cannot you know make this below than 10 since 
since signal frequency is itself 10. Now let's do the filtering and uh, now let's plot this signal. Now you will see this time this is a uh, you know um, filtered out in a better way as a previous uh, as a previous uh, uh, filter but one thing you might notice here that there is a phase shift right so this cycle is this cycle is corresponding to this cycle and this cycle is corresponding to this one so there is a phase shift and we can remove this phase shift by using matlab filter filter function so we need to call here filter filter and just pass it to the y and let's plot this now once we plot this by using filter filter you will see here that this is following exactly the same what uh, you know we have original signal here so the original signal was a distorted with a very high noise but if you see the filtered signal is following this uh, you know this filter is following the uh, following the original signal okay without any phase shift without any phase shift but one thing you might notice here that there is a trend in this signal right so there is a trend it is increasing and then decreasing so what we can do here we can apply here d trend to make this signal okay at the at the just zero mean right so if you calculate the mean of this y you will see the mean is around zero but still there is a trend so we are going to use here d trend if you see here by using help d trend so the d train takes a single input which is input right in which we will pass y so the y underscore uh, what we can do we can call directly d train is equal to uh, d sorry we have to call here d train y is equal to d train y right so now let's plot this d trend underscore y with the x so now let's bring it to the shg now if you notice here that right so this signal has been plotted in a better way right so the trending has been removed from this one but not all the trending but uh, it has removed a little so this is all about in this video I have shown you how you can use a low pass filter to remove high frequency noises from your signal and um, thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day